Hi, Charles. It's an interesting question you got there. Was there an infinite regression or were there infinite events leading up to the Big Bang? Now, you'll get people like Matt Slick saying, oh, no, of course not, because if it was infinite, then we wouldn't get here. Uh, that's not exactly true, because having an infinite amount of events does not necessarily mean that it'll take an infinite amount of time. When you learn calculus, you'll understand that um, you can have an infinite or very big number of things, but still have a finite sum. That, that is to say that when something gets small enough, there's, there's a rate of change, but if something gets small enough, you can add infinite amounts of them and not get to infinity. You can have a, an infinite sum of numbers, which is still adding up to a finite sum. Or another way to put it would be if you had a distance, say maybe one meter, you can divide that up theoretically infinitely. So each little piece would be one meter divided by infinity, whatever that number is. This number doesn't really exist in real life, but the point is you can theoretically divide any distance into infinite pieces and as long as you have that big infinite number, you can add them up to a finite distance or sum. So that's the point. <laughs> that, yes, it's possible to have an infinite amount of events, even though the first event, if there is one, would still have a finite amount of time leading up to today. Do you understand what I'm saying? So let's say, for example, the universe is four and a half billion years old. And even if you had an infinite amount of events happening before that, if you get to the first event, it would still be a finite amount of time. Or else, by definition, it wouldn't be called the first event. I don't know what really this has to do with determinism, so... I won't answer that one for now, but that that's a good question. Does infinity exist in real life, or is it just a uh, placeholder for I don't know what it is? I think not, because just like the word random, if it, random is basically just a placeholder for I don't know what the pattern is, and infinity is just another word for without limit. I don't know how big, but bigger than I can imagine and bigger and bigger than I can imagine and bigger than that. So the analogy I like to think of is when you have an ant. It doesn't really matter if an ant is walking on a piece of paper eight by eight and a half by 11 or a white wall which think of the white wall in your room, or a white floor the size of a football field, or a white floor that's the size of a city. It really doesn't matter. To the ant, they're pretty much all pretty big. So the point is, if something is big enough that you cannot imagine how big it is, it's, for your practical purposes, infinite. So regardless of whether infinite infinity exists in reality, and obviously it cannot, because if you had something that was infinitely large, how would you fit it in the universe? If you had a, a length of time that was infinitely long, how would you fit it in this universe? Um, it's kind of like asking the question, if, uni if the universe is all all that is, then what's outside of it? Or is there something outside of it? When people ask about uh, time, well, was there anything before time? That's kind of a weird question, isn't it? 
what would you call something before time? Or can you, does for something, does before time even make any sense? But um, back to what, what we said a few days ago. Um, this is just like the argument of free will and determinism. They don't help us with any practical questions. It's very much like people talking about quantum physics or quantum mechanics, and they don't know what they're talking about. Um, that's all I have to say. There's not much I know, and if there was anything I know, knew, it would be purely th theoretical. It really wouldn't help you answer any questions. There's enough to be said and known about our universe as it is, or just our solar system, or even just our Earth, that I would have to say people who spend time thinking about the Big Bang or what was before that really have nothing better to do. And the only time you hear the word infinity is either if you're doing math or you're talking to a Christian who is too lazy to think. So that's why he says God is infinitely large and infinitely powerful so that he can always say, whatever you're thinking, my God is better. That's what it is. The word infinity is for the intellectually lazy.